Hello everybody, welcome. This is Terrell from Terrell03.com. Today is Saturday, it's January 6, 2024. It's 10.35 a.m. Central Time here in the Ozarks. I just completed an interview with Josh Monday and his brother Jason. And it was a pretty interesting interview. Yeah, and it's posted in the Black Star Report. It's going to be, the link's going to be in the Mystery Report whenever that first newsletter comes out. And this little, little article that I made for the newsletter. And right away you're going to see the interview was unrehearsed. There was no list of questions. If, if, uh, if whenever Tina Griffin, Counterculture Moms, when she interviews me, she's, she wants at least five questions. And I have to give her the detailed answer before we do the interview. And there's different for different people, they do different things. So with Josh, with no previous emails other than just today's the day. No questions, and it was the topic Mr. Explained. And you're going to see pretty fast that there was there was nothing in the way of rehearsal or anything. <laughs> and I hadn't used Zoom in years. And so it's uh, there's a little fumbling around a little bit. And at one point, you'll see that I was trying to pull up more images to give better descriptions. And I was having difficulty. So whenever I activated my, you know, pulled up the the photos, it covered everything up. And so you couldn't see them. You could, the, the other ones worked just fine. But anyway, I realized after, you know, I'd gone through the interview and experienced that there was so much more that I wanted to share that I wasn't able to during the interview and so to help you guys many of you that are seeing this for the first time that help you see more than why well, I wanted to pull up the diagrams this is page 13 of my book the mystery explained depending on the version that you get so I just want to go through these a little bit so I was thinking I'll pull up this one and this one this one or this one or that one and I so I thought I'll just pull them up I'll give you a brief description of what's going on as an introduction then as you're going through this interview that'll start right after this introduction then everything's going to make better sense at least that's what I think so this is one of the first diagrams that shows three witnesses three into the one all in all is at the end this is the way things are now with different spirit witnesses listed different blood witnesses and different water witnesses in scripture so I'm not going to re-say everything that I said in the interview. That would take too long. So this is a diagram showing, I mentioned this during the interview, God's work, my work, your work, spirit witness. My book's water witness. That's why it's blue. All this was thought ahead. And then your folder should be red. And then if you follow the instructions in my book, The Mystery Explained, you're going to be creating these different pages and spirit witnesses, blood witness, water witnesses for each singularity. This is the diagram that the first diagram that I begin with in the presentation showing how the key to unlock God's true Bible code is in Genesis 1-1, spirit, blood, water. And Josh presents his interpretation, I present mine, and there are many, many interpretations. And so, you know, I'm going to give mine, he gives his, and you guys get to decide. There must be, that's what Paul says to the Corinthians, there must be factions among us that those who are approved may become evident. But that's not for me to decide, nor Josh, it's for you to decide. And those three witnesses are broken down into their own three witnesses. So, this is the singularity, but then God's three witnesses are Revelation 1.8. God who is, God who was, God who is to come. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, same image. And many people believe this is God. They think my Father who art in heaven is God. My Father who art in heaven is the spirit witness of the Word. Heaven and the Word are the same thing. I explained that during the diagram. I mean, during the interview. Heaven's heaven and earth. Three witnesses of the earth of Genesis 1.1, which is the entire universe. Seen and unseen. Tabernacle, three witnesses, spirit, blood, water. Same image of a man. Same images, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all the rest of them. 
Then um, this shows when you hear the hearing the word, the word enters as the high priest. Obedience of faith, passing through the veil. That culminates in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit incarnating inside. Holy Spirit, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, physical body. Christ lives within our soul, the Father and our spirit. They overlap. So Christ in you, you're looking at it right here. And then God is in Christ reconciling the world to himself. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19. In Christ, he's been in Christ reconciling the world to to himself since Genesis 2. When it says God rested, this is where he rested, in his son. His son is the one doing the work from Genesis 2, 4, 4 onward during the seventh day. So I'm just going through this quickly. This shows the um, the sample mystery folder for people. So you're, you're creating this and it continues to enlarge. And at some point you realize that the mystery topic is infinite. So if you continue working in your red folder, it's going to get bigger than the Bible and my book combined. If you continue with it, generally you see the patterns and the black stars coming. So we have limited time. But infinity is the limit if you want to carry the topic from the perspective that God shows you. This shows in the beginning, John 1, 1, and then the God being all in all, 1 Corinthians 15, 28. And the steps in between. All of the blood witnesses enlarge until they once again testify for the original singularity. So the Word is currently the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit until the Son overshadows the Father and the Holy Spirit and becomes the Word again. So it sounds like blasphemy, but there is a time whenever my Father, who art in heaven, will no longer exist. And the Holy Spirit will no longer exist. When we are all singularities again, and the Word is incarnate inside of us. And we are submitted. We are subjected back to God, and then God is all in all. And we're one in God, which is the same that's real in God's infinite realm. That's where we are right now. So this is more images from the mystery explained to help you see that whenever the process, the mystery process begins, then the blood witness is like a belt. Descriptions of John the Baptist: the belt. The animal skins in the wilderness. There are types in the stories of Scripture that help you to see these things. Christ in you. This is a blow up from the diagram that I showed you earlier. You, we are tabernacles. I'm a tabernacle. Christ is in me. God's in him. I'm just the servant. Sometimes when you're hearing from me, you're hearing Christ in me. Sometimes you're hearing God in Christ in me. Most of the time, you're hearing just me. But you guys testify to me too. When you're t talking to me, sometimes it's you. Sometimes it's Christ in you. Sometimes it's God in Christ in you. So scripture is living and active. I'm just going to go through these quickly. This is all the witnesses put together. This is the image from the back of the mystery explained. From God's infinite realm, where we're gods, right down to the tabernacle and the God's work, your work, and my work on the golden table of shoe bread. So this is what's happening inside of you as you are a temple and the holy place and God's work and my work and your work expands from your inside. Then images, Adam in the garden, spirit, blood, water, all the time. Same patterns. These are the things that I see spiritually, which is how these diagrams came to be. Mount Transfiguration. I mentioned that during the interview. Moses, Christ, there's a body of Moses. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, just start reading, verse 5. They were baptized into Moses and into the sea, and they, speak, they drank the same spiritual drink. All these water signs on Moses. And then Elijah. See, there's a body of Christ. We're baptized into the body of Christ. These are baptized into the body of Moses. There's also angels that are baptized in the body of Elijah. But we learn about the the body of Elijah through the types. And during the interview, I described there's a mystery of God, which is Christ. And there's the mystery of Christ. And then there's the mystery of Adam that's taught through the types. That's what God does. And that's one of the reasons that you hear about the testimony coming through two or three witnesses. 
as God oftentimes gives us the blood and the water witnesses, and we have to figure out the spirit part. Or he gives us the spirit and the blood, and we've got to figure out the water part. This is, this is, well, this is what the pyramid looks like in heaven, where we have an abode in New Jerusalem. Some of us are up here by Paul, Barnabas, and Titus. Some of us are down on the bottom rungs. And the king, the prophetic kingdom bride, Peter, John, and James, they join us in Christ through the marriage supper of the Lamb. These are the angels. We judge the world and the angels because they're two halves of the same whole. We got into that just a little bit, not as far as I wanted to go. Then, um, but remember, you know, we just had an hour, so hour and 13 minutes, something like that. Talk about the veil of time and space. And this is God's mystery, is Christ himself. This is from my book, The Mystery Explained, so you can see how things go, go simple and then they get more complicated. I explained that uh, the infinite eggshell, the white of the egg, the boiled egg, and the yolk. Because we are contained in Christ. Colossians 1, 18 through 20. Whether seen and unseen. More complicated diagram of the other one that you saw. The heavenly man, Christ Jesus, is right here. He intercedes between God and men. 1 Timothy 2, 5. We got a little bit into the heaven and the highest heaven. I explained that a little, you know, a little bit. In the interview, you're going to get way more of that in my book, The Mystery Explained, as you're going through the diagrams. This is the three witnesses of the Almighty, Revelation 1 8. Most people believe three witnesses of God or Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's the counterfeit. This is uh, from the perspective of God who is, God who was, and God who is to come. And, you know, I just kind of scroll through these. These are the, the, there's commentary in my book, The Mystery Explained, showing the void that's upon the face of the deep. And Josh mentions that, the void that's on the face of the deep. When you take the two witnesses and separate them, the last place they're touching is the face of the deep. It's like putting two giant balls together. Where they first touch, coming back together, that's when the blood witness is begotten. And that, when you first put the two big giant beach ball balloons back together again, where they touch is the face of the deep. That's the best explanation I can give for you. Then, this blood witness is just a sliver like a belt. And then it expands, expands, expands until the sun becomes the word again. This is the angels and the men being judged by you and me. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, start at 2. And these are the, the angels from heaven. They are protectors of God's throne. And then the kingdom disciple from the earth, Peter, John, and James. This is the member of Christ's body. We're special. After our angel half and our man half is put back together, we're a mortal soul. We That qualifies us. We're chosen by God to be special. So that we can then judge the world and the angels. So Peter, John, and James, they're members of the bride, kingdom bride. They stand on the sea of glass. They give intercession for everybody in heaven. They're special too, but they're water witnesses. We're blood witnesses. The angels that guard the throne, they're the spirit witnesses. Natural man unsaved, this is before the, they obey the gospel. We're different than the unsaved. We have realms incarnate within us. And this shows how the tabernacle is laid out in the same pattern and what these, these well, the altar of golden incense, the golden candlestick, the golden table of shoe bread. These are things moved from this section. This is gold, silver, bronze. But these gold things have been moved into this section for a reason because what this is what God's doing consecrating through his son beside his right hand members of Adam's incarnation so there's six day people here from Genesis 1 and there's seventh day people here and there's a difference six day people are connected to heaven of Genesis 1 8 members of Christ's body us we're gods from God's infinite realm we're connected to heaven of Genesis 1 1 the highest heaven there's a difference you and I are, are we live once per age. We die then the judgment for that age. Six-day people, Chinese, Aborigines, 
American Indians, six-day people, RH positive, all of them. And they can live many times per age. They're on an evolutionary path. Three witnesses of scripture. Spirit, blood, water explain that. This is the same layout as the ta tabernacle. And then I'm going to try to breeze through these. I'm at 15 minutes now. I don't want to make this too long. Different diagrams. Dispensational shift from kingdom to grace. From Peter to Paul with the Holy Spirit. So Peter and the twelve received the Holy Spirit from Christ on the day of Pentecost. Christ received the Holy Spirit from John the Baptist in the Jordan River. John the Baptist received the Holy Spirit from his father, Zacharias. He got it from the temple. Remember, he was chosen by Lot to go into the temple, Luke 1, five. Well, that Holy Spirit, and Josh mentioned in the interview, Genesis 1-2, there's a thread going right through Methuselah. The incarnation of the Holy Spirit on the earth. There's a thread throughout the whole Bible from Genesis 1 2 to Revelation 22 17. And the Spirit, the bride and the Spirit say, Come. That there's a thread all the way through there. I do my best in the Mystery Explained to help you identify all the characters with the Holy Spirit from start to finish. The throne of the Lamb during the thousand years. God's infinite realm is showing how the blood witnesses all engulf the all blood witnesses are going to continue to overshadow the water witnesses and spirit witnesses until they are once again singularities. Like in the beginning, like the earth of Genesis 1 1. We got into that a little bit. Josh and I have different interpretations of things. But we should always be able to share our views. Josh gives his, I give mine. God's going to decide between us at the judgment seat, right? And we'll see. I'm extremely confident. But the Lord God's been showing me this for a long, long time. This is um, you know, one of the interviews, New City. God lowering New Jerusalem. I'm just going to skip through these. You get that. When you get to my book, The Mystery Explained, Summing Up Process, Sun incarnates into heaven. The promised land, the tabernacle of David. What all that means. This is Mary as the bowl, Christ as the bowl. Baptism into the earth. Hades in the pit. Whenever Christ was raised, we were raised with him. That's the mystery of Christ. We're baptized into his body when we obey the gospel. We become active participants in his death, burial, and resurrection. So when God raised him up, he raised us up. Seated us in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, start at 4. Christ's ascension. And then, see things, this is the same three, this is the same diagram. God, heaven, and earth. It's just showing you more of the detail. And this is how, this is how people learn. They begin by faith. And then, that's a seed. And then, knowledge is a shoot. Wisdom is the fruit. The Without this, nobody can reach up into this door. Faith, knowledge, wisdom, that builds the stairs so that you can then go through the door. Into the halls of knowledge and wisdom and all that good stuff. Before Reformation, the tabernacle of Moses in the temple, the old pattern. Then after the Reformation, this is the Reformation is Christ and God incarnate inside of us. And I think you get the idea. So I want to keep this 20 minutes or so. Three witness mystery sets. The three witnesses of scripture. The kingdom dispensation. Oh, I'm going to skip through because what I wanted to pull up. See, there's the ephods that I was talking about. Everybody has chest plates in heaven and your access to where you can go, where you can't go. On the But beside the doors, great doors, open up and close, are these symbols. And if you have that symbol in your chest plate, you can go in. If you do not have that symbol, you cannot go in. This is what the completed ephod of the mature member of Christ's body looks like. You see the cross? There it is. And this is the Prophecy Mystery Timeline. I'm trying to get to the diagrams. Three Witnesses, Revelation 8, 1-8, uh, how they're incarnate inside of us. 
I'm going to skip through here. This is what I wanted to get to right here. I was going to pull this up during the interview so you can see these are singularities. There are three witnesses. This is the singularity. This is the spirit witness. This is the blood witness. This is the water witness. These three are summed up. This and this is summed up into this until all of us are kings. Everything is summed up into Christ. Everything into Christ's throne. Everything into heaven. Everything into the sun. Everything into God who is. Everything is subjected here before it's subjected back to God. That's the way that it works. That's diagram number one. And 50 diagrams could be created. This is just two that should give you the highlight of what's going on. Singularities. And then the spirit, blood, and the water. These three witnesses. The law and the prophets. Paul's gospel. And the gospel of the kingdom. The message of truth. Furnishings of the temple. The three parts of the temple. Now you go back to the other one, you have, you know, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. All of these follow the same pattern. It shows you first veil and the second veil. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you as introduction to help you to get the most out of this interview. So the, the interview, Josh has sent it to me and he's given me permission to upload it to the platforms. And so I'm going to put this, this is going to be the uh, intro, then this segment, and then the outro at the end, you know, just like my regular videos. Get information from the links down in the description box. And keep in mind during this interview that I was warned that this is going to be on YouTube. And, you know, this is going on my YouTube channel too. So if you want more information on certain things, biological weapons, things like that, then you're going to have to go right to Substack. So let me pull up some links here before I let you go and show you. Come to Substack. And here's the pinned article to help you see the light. This is going to connect the Night Living Inside job and the Mystery Explained and Biological Way, all, everything together to the best of my ability to help um, these people, Dr. Anna, Clifford, and you, her producer, see the light. But then you see that there's just tons of articles here. Share terrell.substock.com with other people that you want to help. And then um, this is the copy of my book, The Mystery Explained. On the website, you can get the my autographed author's ver um, copy. It'll be numbered. Number 101 is the next one to go out. But you get used versions of this. And whenever you subscribe, come down here and subscribe, you get a copy of my book, the EPUB version for your Kindle. You can read it with Adobe Digital Editions on your computer. Watch these six introductory videos. And you'll be on the road, man. And help others to see God's wisdom hidden in plain sight. To, for the heavenly reward. There's big time heavenly rewards for those of us that wake up, become aware of God's real hidden wisdom. And see it and then help other people to see it. Big time. Big time. Get a copy of this for yourself and get a copy for your friends. For your family. Big reward on the other side. Then this is the YouTube channel, John. I'm John. Josh Monday, Christian and Conspiracy Podcast. So I didn't realize till now that this is conspiracy. No wonder they were so interested in the 9-11. They're, they're going to call, he's going to write and schedule a 9-11 inside job interview, which I offered to do with with uh, Tina Griffin. Their counterculture mom people are blowing me off. But it looks like Josh and Jason, particularly Jason's like, come on, Josh, this is the guy. This guy's got it. This guy, he's really, really excited during the interview. And I, I'm 100% confident, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to share my information from the mystery explained as if it's just another interpretation. My note's real. This is God's stuff. I didn't invent this stuff. It didn't come out of me. I'm a servant. God showed me. God's inside of me. God showed me. And I'm going to show you. But I don't, I cannot take credit for the three witnesses and spirit, blood, and water. I can't take credit for that. It's God's stuff. And all I'm doing is pointing you in the right direction. And God's going to reveal it to you. Or he's not. If he's, he, if he, he hides his stuff from his, his enemies. He hides it from the sons of disobedience. And some of us can see it and some of us can't. Oh, this is the image that I was looking for. And then this is, oh, if you just, uh, duck, duck, go or Google, whatever you use. Josh Monday Christian Conspiracy Podcast, and these got, and you'll also notice that he's, he leans over in the direction of the uh, flat earth, 
that I try to help him with, and his brother is trying to help him with. His brother kind of thinks it's funny because um, the um, anyway, I don't want to hack on my brother, Josh. This is how he sees things today, and what we're our job is to sow seeds. So that's what I'm doing. I'm sowing seeds. God causes the growth. I'll help water, 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 but God causes the growth. So I've got you know failings and insecurities and things like that like everybody else, and it helps to, me to accept mine if I can accept them and others have issues too. You know, we all do. None of us are perfect. And when I mentioned to him in pre-production, which you didn't get uh, had the opportunities, we started recording afterwards. But you've got to see God's wisdom too. All of us do. We're all standing around Christ. Christ is in us and we're standing around him at the same time. We are all looking through a different facet, as if looking at Christ as a precious jewel. There's a facet there for you. There's a facet there for me. I testify, you testify. We all testify. And it's only after we all testify that the angel, the song of the Lamb can be completed. We are all testifying and singing the song of the Lamb throughout. At the end of the ages, we will all, by that time, we will have all testified and we're all going to see the light together. So God made us to be dependent on one another in that way. I wholeheartedly believe that. It's not just my way or the high way or anything like that. It's a combination of the way I see things and the way you see things. And I'm going to have an influence on you, if God, God willing, and you're going to have an influence on me. You're going to help me to see around the things, the blockages and things I can't see. I'm going to help you to see this, do the same thing. And we all do that for one another in a spirit of love for our fellow brethren. And the golden rule, like Christ said, we treat others the way we want to be treated. Members of Christ's body, anyway, because the de there's the devil, the enemy, that's out there, too. That we, you know, pray to God Almighty, appreciate Josh's prayer at the end. That uh, you'll see these guys, good hearts, their hearts are in the right place. And I'm sure that we're going to do other interviews together. So with that, get more information right here at the website, terrell03.com. And you can subscribe to the mystery report right down here. And please don't be confused. I'm in the process of transitioning. January is a really busy month. So the, the 2024 has changed, but whenever you go to subscribe, you'll see it says 2023. It's going to be like that through January. But do not let your heart be troubled. <laughs> your subscription status will show the date. And you're going to be a 2024 subscriber whenever you subscribe. And if you subscribe during the month of January, before I get all my notifications out, then you're going to get access to all the 2023 newsletters for this mystery report. So you're going to get that Dropbox folder link. Tons of information. That just happened for the whole year. The near side alignment, outside old position, the back side alignment, my predictions, the videos, all available to you right now. And it's just $25 a year. Really great opportunity. My book, The Mystery Explained, attached. You can use Zelle. You can use Cash App. And for getting your... Uh, well, I don't want to talk too much about this, but you see there's many options for getting the... Um, for neutralizing threats related to the biological weapon. Enough said on that. Okay. Well, that's the... Uh, I hope you enjoy the interview. That's going to come right after this intro. Appreciate your support very, very much. Get more information here at terrorzero 3com I'll see you on the next Black Star Update Report and on the next Mystery Report. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Josh and Jason Monday Christian and Conspiracy Podcast. I'm your host, Josh Monday. If you don't know me, I'm a Christian rapper, devoted husband, father, and Army veteran. I'd like to introduce you to my co-host. Uh, he's a Christian, devoted husband, and father, and he's back. What's going on, Jason? Back, baby. Welcome back to me. <laughs> so I say what's up. But on uh yeah, little little uh little crusty eyed right now because uh Josh, you 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 uh got me up on time right now. Thank you for that. I appreciate you. But a lot of stuff that's been going on. Uh yeah. A lot of things have been going on in the world have been bothering me. A lot of things have been going on right now in this state and time. Only a few people are actually really talking about it a lot but this is just getting this is getting crazy but uh, yeah let's get on to the show but no so problem. Sure people are warned there's some things going on in this world right now that, that, that you guys need to be prepared for so yeah and i think charles uh 
sent me uh, your information, Terrell. So um, we're going to have an amazing guest for you guys today, Terrell Croft. He's been doing this for a long time. He wrote his, he's got, uh, he's an author, um, he, uh, an awesome researcher, uh, survivalist, uh, has, has some amazing information for you guys today. Uh, Terrell Croft, how are you? Very good. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. And just let me ask, did, did it allow you to record on your end? If not, I'll be able to send it to you. It just says, got it. It was, oh, uh, got it. I oh, okay. know that you're recording. I didn't see an option. So you, you might have no to problem. send me. No problem. I'll send it to you. Okay, perfect. So yeah. And you're going to go over uh, the mystery explained some, some awesome information for us. Uh, you, this is going to be your book. And if you want to go over, you know, I know you have your website pulled up right here. So if you want to please show them your sub stack and show them the books that you have available so people can kind of know where to reach you and find you and what to okay. get. Okay. This is my sub stack page is terrell.substack.com. Okay. And this is the helping people see the light. Might want to check this out. Three witnesses of spirit, blood and water. And it includes a nine living inside job that I spent years on. And so when you come down here, you'll see articles on the biological weapon. You'll see it on 9-11. Same people did it. Yeah. And and then the mystery explained, the three witnesses, that's the biggest conspiracy of all is yeah. what's going on with right, right here. And then this is my book, The Mystery Explained. It was pu published in 2017, written in 2005. And it's, a, it's, this is my life's work right here. Awesome. The uh, three witnesses, spirit, blood, and water It's available over at Amazon. You can get the signed autograph numbered copy author's copy from the website. There's a link down there. So, you, yeah. Okay. Think about that guys. You wrote it in 2006. You published it in 2017. Like you said, it's his life's work, put a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of research, uh, you know, so, you know, if you guys could purchase this book, anybody that comes on our show, if you guys could support them, we would definitely appreciate that. And also subscribe to his Substack if you guys could. And, and obviously, he's a he's. This is a Christian and conspiracy podcast, and he breaks down conspiracies really well, and also uh, breaks down the Bible, which we love. You know, um, yeah. So go ahead and uh, you could show him some more if you like, uh, Terrell. Okay, this is the Mystery Report newsletter program. It's just twenty five dollars per year. You get all the newsletters going back to two thousand nineteen. Access through a Dropbox folder. You do not need a Dropbox folder. Uh, you don't need a Dropbox account or anything. You just need the link, and I'll send that to you. You get a free copy of my book, The Mystery Explained, attached to your notification email. Nice. So that's going to be the EPUB version. And then whenever you get your um, your NanoSilver, you get the extended PDF version. I had to I had to shorten it down. I had to cut it down for pu publication, or it would have been $100 a copy. Okay, perfect. So and Terrell's done like 100 interviews. He's done a lot of interviews out there, guys. So you can also see some of his... Uh, you know, past interviews and stuff, I'm sure. And yeah, check them out. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of, of interviews. I had my own uh, radio podcast over at Revolution Radio, maybe kicking that off again. Awesome. But here are the six introductory videos that you're going to want to watch before you read the mystery explained about God's true Bible code, two gospels and such. This is this is the order and it'll help you to help unlock the doors to yeah. what, what I'm going to be sharing with you here today. Awesome. All right. Well, let's get into it, uh, Terrell. I you you said a, like a questions list. Me, I like basically. Uh, I I have some questions for you, but I I don't want to. This is like a great presentation that you have, so I don't want to veer you off course too much. So, uh, since it's a presentation, you can kind of start going through your presentation, explaining stuff, and as we go, um, you know, I can I can ask you some questions. You know. Okay. So in 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 the beginning is where a good place to begin. Though so there is a true Bible code. The tr God's true Bible code is interwoven through God's word. And the key is in Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, spirit, blood, and water. And once you get to see that code, that key can be brought anywhere. Even God's word, Old Testament, 39 books, Paul's epistles, 13 books, kingdom epistles, 13 books, based on the number 13, which is the number of the steward from scripture. Take Christ. Peter, John, and James, give them their three witnesses, and the number's 13. Christ is the 13th apostle, you see. And scripture's laid out in that 39. So 39 books in the Old Testament is spirit, blood, and water enfolded together. Then Paul's epistles, are, that's the blood witness, 13 epistles, 13 kingdom epistles. And then there's one book that's different than all the rest. That's the book of Acts. It's the transitional veil book. So there's a diagram that shows that specifically and there's 80 color-coded diagrams in the mystery explains beginning 
with this one and then branching out by the time by the time you get to um see those three witnesses are broken down into their three witnesses so the word is father son and holy spirit the earth is heaven's heaven and earth genesis 1 8 or well, 6 through 8 matthew 28 19 and god's three witnesses revelation 1 8 god who is god who was and god who was to come they all have the same image the image of a man which is spirit, soul, and body. Spirit, soul, and body. Man, woman, seed. And there are charts inside the Mystery Explained to show you, well, not all of them. There's a whole big old pile of them that aren't mentioned. <laughs> so, yeah, here's the one from Scripture showing the three witnesses of God's word and then how they conform to the exact pattern of the tabernacle of Moses in the temple. So you have the two veils that are intact. And the court, the the um, holy place, and the holy of holies, and the second veil. And th this is just, you know, basic the basics, really basics of the mystery explained. These veils also appear in God's word. There's the second veil. There's the first veil. Thirty nine books, thirteen thirteen, and this makes a prophecy mystery timeline in scripture. And we are approaching this line. It's right here at the end of this dispensation of God's grace, which is a mystery time that the prophets were never allowed to see. So here's the prophets standing back here, and they're looking over into the day of the Lord, which they see perfectly. They see the great tribulation, everything. This is the period, the mystery time that they were not allowed to see. And so that's why Paul states over and over again about the mystery and how it's hidden in God and is now being revealed. So our gospel, our mystery church, our mystery translation, immortality, all of that was revealed to Paul after God raised Christ from the dead. So this is the Old Testament. This is the Paul's epistles, and this is the Kingdom New Testament. It's extremely important to separate the Kingdom doctrine from the Grace doctrine. <clears throat> How many sure. mysteries are there? The, if, if, well, yeah, my book, then I list them all. And the um, there's, well, one mystery as far as what Paul is revealing to. That's why it's singular in Ephesians 3, the mystery revealed to me. But then there's God's mystery, Colossians 2, 2, which is Christ, the mystery of Christ, Ephesians 3, 4, Colossians 4, 3. And then there's mysteries that are hidden. So once you look at the charts, you realize, hey, there's God's mystery and there's mystery of Christ. You take back that back to God, heaven, and earth, and you're going to realize there's a man of the earth and there's a mystery of Adam, too. So the, one of the deepest mysteries that I just reported on in the um, the last mystery report newsletter for two, for last year is the mystery of Adam. And so there's there's many examples of this. The body of Christ is mentioned. The, the body of Moses is mentioned, Colossians 1. And then there's a mystery of Elijah too. And whenever you look at the Mount of Transfiguration, then you can see Moses and Christ and Elijah standing right there. There's a mystery of Christ and there's a mystery of, or there's a uh, the body of Christ, the body of Moses. They were all baptized into Moses and baptized into the sea and they all drank the same spiritual drink. All those water witness signs are all over Moses and they're all over Noah too. And there's reasons for that. And the message comes out of the temple and the water witness section, the court, and don't want to get too complicated with you, but this is the, the mystery timeline. And to answer your question again, I haven't counted the number of mysteries that are in the scripture. There, there's a, there's <laughs> the mystery that Paul reveals that was never seen before, but there's also a mystery of prophecy, okay, from Daniel that's revealed in Revelation, and that, that mystery is something that is seen by Daniel and Zechariah and, and, and the, all the Old Testaments, but they are looking, that's the key here. They're standing in the Old Testament looking into the day of the Lord. Many people think we're coming to the end of the age right now, but we're not. The day of the Lord is about to begin. But Paul writes about the day of the Lord as if it's, he's writing to the Thessalonians about it. They think it's already started and it hasn't. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't, it hasn't yeah, started yeah. yet. We're still in this period. So, that period is about to start right now. Elijah has to come and restore all things. The last two verses of the Old Testament. I'm sending you the, uh, Elijah the prophet before the great and terrible day of the Lord. He's going to restore the hearts of the fathers to children, the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the land with a curse. So that's talking about the restoration of innocence 
and the restoration of immortality. And that hasn't even started yet. So Christ says that John the Baptist, if you can bear it, is Elijah. And then he gets killed. And then he says that Elijah must come first and restore all things. And Matthew 17, when it comes down for the Mount of Transfiguration. And then Acts 3, start at 19. By the time you get to 26, that prophet, that Peter's quoting Moses. And he says, the prophet like me. And that he's coming to restore all things. And that still has to happen. So Elijah has to come. He's going to come right here to begin the restoration of all things. And we are going to be taken, caught up to meet the Lord in the air. The devil's children are all going to be um, chained. And we're going to occupy those heavenly seats during this period, which is actually 3,600 years. So the, the euphemism, the, the figure of speech, the, the thousand years, that is a reference to the period that's coming up. And it's going to be 3,600 years. And the way that we know that is because, well, from my Black Star re research, the time from Noah to Moses, that's the Black Star came to cause the flood. The Black Star came to cause the earth changes from the days of Moses, the earth stopping, Joshua and everybody. And now the Black Star is coming again for the prophet of Acts 3. And then it's going to come at the end of the age to fulfill Matthew 24, Revelation and such. You mean the sun stopping? Is that what you're talking about in Joshua 10? Yes. The sun so and that, the moon stopping? That was, that was done by the Black Star. I heard about this. I heard about this Black Star. The, the right. Black Star is coming. It's right now between the, the uh, Scorpio constellation and the Earth. I've been tracking it since January of 2011. So Paul writes that the destruction will come suddenly, like the birth pangs. The birth pangs are the Earth changes that I've been tracking. And the, the sudden destruction is going to come from a series of geological pole shifts to the Earth. The Black Star is going to get too, too close to us. And it's going to tip the earth over. And there's also a gigantic super plume that's growing out of control inside the earth mantle transition zone. And But we're going to be caught up to meet the Lord just before the destruction. For, so the um, there's a survival group program for those that we leave behind and to make sure that we're numbered among the living. And so all of my research, that God showed me these things as a kid and growing up. It took decades for it to all come out. But then the night living inside job showed me the enemy. And then the same bad guys, House of Rothschild, the Global Banks Cartel, they created this biological weapon. And then they did 9-11, and now they're using the pandemic as a command control mechanism. They're getting ready to run to the underground cities, and they expect everybody on the earth is going to be, well, destroyed from the Black Star. And they're, they're supposed to emerge from their underground cities to start the New World Order, kind of like 2012, the movie 2012, or Deep Impact. Yeah. combined with the contagion movie is what we're living through and it's real so the, what you see with trump and pelosi and and biden and all that is all staged to distract yeah. people so putin and xi and and um all of them are reading from the same playbook yeah i agree that they're, with that they're, New they're World getting, Order, yeah. yeah it's them against us they're the elite that's going to go to the underground cities so netanyahu is working with hamas hamas yeah. is, is cia uh, ISIS, yeah. CIA, they're all CIA. Yeah. So the, yeah. the world is being destabilized. You see the illegal alien invasion. I like this guy. I like this guy. Well, now, yeah. See, th th some of the stuff that, you know, that you're going over, I'm, you know, I'm not on board with some of this stuff, but most of the stuff, I, I, all this stuff that you're talking about now, yeah, definitely, man. You're getting into the, the meat and potatoes. <laughs> yeah. I like this guy. This guy so, goes so, deep. so when you go through my Substack page, yeah. And, all of this is going to be connected, starting with that first article that I showed you. Just go down. Um, to give you an example, this uh, this recent earthquake, there's a series of them, but the, the 7.6 Philippines quake was predicted way in advance. We just and, had one the other day. We just had one yesterday right by my in house. California, so, yeah. Yeah, like a 4.5. It's like, like, no, well, like the, out of nowhere. The super plume is growing out of control now. It's made all these mantle plume connections. But anyway, yeah. the 7.6 Philippines quake was predicted six months ago to the exact time that it was going to happen, the second half of the day on December 2nd. And it happened at 1400 because we passed behind the sun relative to the black star. So I'm able to predict the near side quakes when we pass between the two stars and the backside quakes. And if you, when you go to my website, then right here, wait a minute, not there. My apologies. I didn't mean to open this. That's not good. No, no worries. Silver's yeah. doing good. 
<laughs> yeah. So whenever you whenever you come down here, you'll see there's a chart. There's the projected date right there for June 3rd, 2024. That's going to be a good time. I, I, math is my deal. And I did, I've done the analysis on the recent near side alignment quakes and did the time differential. And it's going to happen about 2 a.m. UTC. We're going to be in nearest proximity to the star, the black star. Now, maybe we're going to have another one of these quakes. All of these quakes were predicted in advance. Fukushima was predicted with only two weeks of uh, two months of data within four days. This one was predict to the day. These quakes now I'm able to predict to the day. Now that Jupiter's out of the way, Jupiter was in the way, solar system harmonics deal. And it was causing my events to come late. A lot of these on the backside, but now Jupiter's out of the way. So I'm able to predict it to within 12 hours now. So these are the birth pangs that Paul's talking about. And this is a projected date right here. So you see the world's going to hell in a handbasket right now. It's because they have a 30 day, 60 day, and a 90 day contingency plan from this date right here going backwards. So they have two months right now to create the chaos, to bring in the illegals in that are working with our military, by the way, and as terror cells, by the way, and yep. as just regular Joes that are out there with phone cards and, and li living high on the hog right now. But the thing is that there's going to be a day whenever their cards stop working and then all chaos is going to break loose. They're going to release the terror cells, attack our water, attack sheriff's offices. That's getting ready to happen, guys. That's getting ready to happen. That's Remember, that's what I do, threat assessment, contingency planning, to help well, people. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Were you, were you ever uh, military at all? My family is, but I didn't okay. serve. Okay, that's your job? Asking, is I'm just contingency? asking because you talk, he talks, uh, you, you talk like uh, military. I was just asking. But I say that's your job. <laughs> your job is like threat contingency and. and yes. And, oh, you see, wow. see, this is a, it's only $50 a year, Black Star newsletter and survival group program. So there are survival groups here in the United States, about 200 families. And then there's a small group in Canada. And the best fortified group is in Europe, the Jose's group. If you have European listeners and do you want to join the best survival group program that I know of in the world, Jose has a group well fortified near Madrid and in, in, in Portugal. But the safe zone, that's see, I've done the work over the years and I know the, where the safe zones are, central part of the United States, the, the uh, Spain side of the Pyrenees Mountains for Europeans. Yep. And, and the Aussies have very limited, but there are places and then the Kiwis and Canadians. Canadians is way out west is the only safe zone. So anyway, that's what I do is, uh, and it's only $50. You get a free copy of my book and everything else. You get your threat assessment, PDF attached, and you understand more about the Black Star, the Super Plume, and the biological weapon whenever you do that. Where's the Black Star mentioned in the Bible? Oh, where is the Black Star? So remember that this is God's stuff. The Black okay. Star is God's stuff, and it's like the mystery. It's right in front of you, but you can't see it. So the destruction comes suddenly. What causes it? That's actually, I actually heard about this. So this is something that's, that might be real, Josh, because I have heard of it too. The Black Star came out when the flood no, came. I'm not saying yeah, that it's it, not real. Oh, it absolutely yeah. did. No, I was just wondering. I was just wondering what, what if it's mentioned in the. See, Bible, I, I've actually heard of this, so I'm actually kind of like intrigued so by what he's talking about because because i've been hearing about it lately and i want to and it's weird that he's talking about it because i want him to elaborate on that because i heard about it coming in the flood it came when uh like the, when the first destruction of 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 certain things this is like when big things happen like this and in, in the in the world it's like that's that star's always around that's right the great deluge it's referred yep, to the great deluge and then isaiah it's the earth is is stumbling like a drunkard that's because it doesn't happen on every orbit cycle because it crosses, the black star crosses Earth orbit path between Scorpio and the Earth, or, or between Scorpio and the Sun. But where's the Earth? So if the Earth is on the backside of the Sun relative to at that moment, over in November position, then the Sun maintains magnetic polarity control of our planet. But if we're in the wrong place at the wrong time, on the same side, the spring side of the solar system, the, the black star comes very near to us. So it's small, it's likely only two to five kilometers in diameter. It's a magnetar type neutron star, it's a cousin. And so when it gets too close to us, it rustles magnetic polarity control from the sun, tips us over and has, has a magnetic um, mismatch with our sun. So it's like one's from the Northern hemisphere and one's from the South. It's like putting magnets together the wrong way. So you get a repulsion deal. And it, when it gets too close to the Earth, it repels the North the uh, North Pole, and then that 
whenever you have a super plume growing out of control, which that's what's happening, then it breaks off the horn formations and it causes a massive destruction. You know, that's about to come. So the earth is going to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Paul tells us that. And then at the end of the age, it's going to be the November position because scripture says that the sun's going to go dark and it gives us all the warning signs of a November crossing event. So there's springtime crossing event and there's a November crossing event and different things happen because the sun turns dark whenever the black star reaches perihelion position nearest the sun. The science is magnetic portal connections. It's really complicated. It's like an umbilical cord between the, the sun and the black star. When it gets too close, then the black star siphons so much energy from the sun, it actually turns it dark. Well, that the sun turning dark is in scripture. It's in the, the Sumerian tablets. It's part of the his, history and it's in the scriptures and it's explained by a November crossing event. So the sun turns dark at perihelion in August. And then the sudden, the destruction comes from revelation and from Matthew 24 at the end of the age. So there's two black star events coming. One's going to start the day of the Lord and one's going to end it. And that's one reason that people confuse the start and the end is because there's the destruction that starts and ends. You guys go ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, you can, you can present all this stuff. It's, it's interesting stuff. I'm uh I was just wondering where the black star party is, but I guess I, if that's what you think, like, like Joshua, for me, when it says that the, the moon and the sun stopped, uh, that's what I believe the, the sun and the moon stopped, uh, not the earth stopped. So I think I, I'm, I'm more of a, uh, well, no, that, that still that still doesn't mean that, that that star wasn't around at that time. No, no, no. I'm not talking. You know about what I mean, that. like like this black star I, has has I've heard of it before, bro. This is like this is like the fourth or fifth time I've yeah, heard and the it. mysteries and stuff. I I've, I've heard Robert Brake go over these too. Yeah, they're they're interesting. I I, I don't um. This yeah, mystery of the church is a mystery of a lot of things, yeah, bro. It's interesting. This is like this is like something that okay, if you don't believe in planets and stuff like that, but there are stars that says it says in the Bible. No, I believe Bible. in planets, dude. It's not that. I'm just saying, like, well, I, I'm just saying, like, some people don't believe in space some people don't believe in certain things like me i i don't i i don't know what's up there but i ha i do believe in stars and constellations and stuff like that because there there are things up there like now that that are For going sure, on yeah. that the that Bible are going on with yeah. yes with with the with the with the um uh, the lady in the in the sky that's clothed by the sun you know stuff like that that like she's the 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 star the the, the comet yeshua or whatever is going through certain certain things it's it's, it's a weird it's a weird Weird time up in space, up in that in the air right now. So if you look yeah. up there and you see things like it's, yeah. it is weird. And this black star is interesting because, what if, what if it does come around, you know, at that time, and and what if it does come with the uh, when it does, there's huge destruction of this planet, and there there are there are talks of, um, you know, like that huge that 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 huge. Uh, I don't know if it's a fault line that's in, that's in Yosemite too, like that something like that could happen that that, that you you cause so, something that destruction so bad that it just there's no coming back from it. Going in a bunker, I don't I don't even I've been hearing that like I watched this movie on Netflix the other day. It's like it's like they tell you what they're doing, like what's going on, what's going to happen. They tell you what they're doing, like what's really going on. Like the movie doesn't tell you there's a war. The movie doesn't tell you that there's anything going on. But these animals sure are acting weird. Like it's 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 a weird movie. It's like tells you like what's like they're gonna go in the like go hide in the bunkers. It's like I don't think a bunker. The Bible talks about that too. They're gonna hide inside the mountains. And yeah, but the thing, yeah, they yeah. can't. Yeah, yeah, there's like that doesn't matter, bro. Like they're thinking like there's gonna be such civil unrest that that we're gonna be all dead. The poor survive, bro. That's how we do survive. We we find a way to survive, and when we do, you don't think we're gonna pull you guys out of these. Out of these bunkers, bro, and tell it like you know what I mean. Like, I think you sent me a thing about that the other day, yeah. Josh. Where he's like, yeah. <laughs> "You think we're gonna tell our kids about this? You don't think that we're gonna know the bunker people? They're gonna rip you out of there. They're gonna take care of you as well. You're you're tripping. You think you're gonna run this world? You're 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 running scared. Your job scared right now. That's what they're doing. Their job scared. They're running. And then when the, when the when the poop hits the fan, who thinks gonna survive? It ain't gonna be the rich. Those guys can you guys put them in a situation. Those guys would crap their pants. Those guys would be pooping their pants right now. They they don't know they don't know how to survive. No. Interesting stuff. Yeah, you can keep going, um, uh, Terrell, with your research. Where's the Where's the black star right now? If 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 it's, if, 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 if it's between the sun and Scorpio constellation, so I know where it is relative to the sun, but not how far it is from the sun. 
I know that it's moving rapidly left in the orbit diagram because it was moving 12 degrees left per year. Is that like, does that like make, uh, is that why we're having these, these, these high tides at, at, at the beach as well in, in California? Because we're having, I've never seen it like this in my life. And I've been living here for 30, 40 years. I've never seen the high tides and, 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 and our beaches, they're, they're, they're flooding their whole, like, it's like a tsunami, like a little tsunami off our coast. You know, it's like pretty crazy. Well, what's causing that is indirect. The jet stream is getting closer to the surface as the black star gets nearer and nearer and nearer. So your super storms, your droughts, your floods, they're becoming uh, more troublesome. The earth is losing its ability to sustain life is what's happening. So that particularly is because of the jet stream being so close. And then the, the, wow, just the, the, the wind that's coming in is causing the giant waves that's coming in. But remember, that's what Christ prophecies at the end of the age about people are going to faint from what's happening. The seas are going to be roaring. And so what the day, the way the day of the Lord begins is much the way it ends. And so you're seeing the signs all throughout the earth. Earth is going crazy. That the, is. The earth is losing its ability to sustain life. They're, they're cutting the production of fertilizer around the world. Already half the people on the earth have to die because the, just the fertilizer uh, production has gone down that much. If you're listening to ADAPT 2300 guy, then he's documenting all that pretty well. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. That's why, so, I, that's why I'm on compost. <laughs> that's why I'm growing my own stuff myself. Well, I'm not seeing, but, uh, I'm not seeing my window. I was going to show you the rest of these diagrams. Okay. Um, it looks like I'm seeing. Oh yeah, the, here we go. Here we yeah, go. Yeah. I'm seeing the one that. Yeah. This is like magnetic portal connection stuff. orientation. This is when we're between the two stars. This is when we're behind the sun relative to the black star. Now that's a lot of gravitational pull. This is magnetic portal connections right here. So it's umbilical cord that runs from the sun to the earth. This connects and disconnects every eight minutes. And this one is based on proximities. So it's because of the speed of light every eight minutes. This one reconnects, disconnects, reconnects. So the connection to the black star, it connects and disconnects rapidly when we're near it. And then not, not as rapidly when they're flip-flopping on the backside of the earth. So I've been noting, you know, doing this research a long time, been noting the changes at these four key positions that this diagram shows you these the alignment so this is spun around now to june the third but these are the four key marker positions 93 days between each and like i say math is my deal i've been watching these patterns this is the super plume this is 2015 image of what's growing inside of our planet horn formations are the primary feature so now it's bigger than this this is from two years ago it's filled the entire zone now earth mantle transition zone is 410 to 660 kilometers. This thing is is filled the entire. So zone. this, so this is like she, like like that earth like that uh, that could happen in Yellowstone, right? Like something that could just explode and make a super volcano. Absolutely. These are the mantle plume connections that are attached to the, the super plume. Wow. So if you go to my website, Black Star section, there's a video called "The Week the Earth Stood Still." So whenever this Hawaii mantle plume connection was made, the super plume just grew like a giant air mattress. All these horn formations went up, and the Earth only had one five magnitude earthquake for seven days. One five, no sixes, no sevens, no eights, because this super plume and the Black Star has been driving the global tectonic volcanic dynamic for the last decades, and so. This is now it's made all these connections and it's just growing out of control. The elite know it. So they're running to the underground cities. This is the scattering map of the future. And this is what's going to happen. So whenever this entire region raises up and then falls, other areas are going to pop up. The super plume is pushing the seven major tectonic plates for a planet apart. Yep. That's changing the earth. The, the changes. We're supposed to have 18 to 27 magnitude earthquakes a year. That's normal. We recently went through two periods of 24 consecutive weeks with no sevens. We went through a period of 200 days with only two seven magnitude earthquakes just, per, just recently. So the, the earth has been talking to me for the last decade and it's saying that the black star is almost here. So you can get that information from the um, black star report newsletters. I make them every Thursday, upload them to the folder. And it's just $25 a year. If you, if you subscribe during January, you get access to all of last year's newsletters. Highly recommend for people interested in this, that you do that. So I, whenever, this is the Black Star Sun Center line, and this is the second, 
This is the Vanuatu quake. This is the gravitational. I've, I've dissected the research and understand that there's electromagnetic alignments and there, there's gravitational alignments. This is the gravitational alignment from December the 7th. This is the electromagnetic alignment. This is like putting electrical wires close together. So as they get close together, this is the black star sun center line. Yeah, as they get closer together, you get that arc. So on December 2nd, just if you do the research, I'm putting the, together the article now, you're going to see that there was a gigantic hole cut in the sun on December 2nd. Yeah. There was also a gigantic hole cut in the Philippines, a gigantic crevasse that was created. So at that moment of the electromagnetic jolt, from the black star on the other side of the sun, through the sun to the earth, there was a giant surge of energy. And with three weeks, we had the aftershocks. And now the tectonic plates are being ripped apart. That's why you saw this, uh, the big, whenever you watch my reports, then practically all of the big quakes that have happened to happen in the same area of the earth. Now, this one that happened in Japan is the ripping apart of these tectonic plates as the super plume is bulging. So this is like the head of the octopus, and this super plume has arms that's reached around our planet. So the bulge is coming from this super plume, the head of the octopus, and it's bulging our entire planet. I've been watching this pattern and given the, the data reports for years, if you guys want to check that out. And this is the Black Star Sun center line. I mean, this is the uh, Black Star event timeline. This shows the projection date. So the elite are aware of this date. So the things that are happening in our environment, the illegal alien invasion, the um, terror cells, the, you notice that the food processing plants are being attacked, power plants, you're getting ready to have a lot of attacks on our infrastructure, water, power, things like that. That's why I recommend that you join the survivor group program and that you get your threat assessment. So, because I'm going to give you, it's a long document with maps and charts and threat assessment to help you to survive what's about, what's about to happen. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, that's a cross. That's pretty cool. That's a cross, though. Yeah, that's to make sure that I'm exactly on the sun's black star sun center line. This is the near side alignment quake that happened last May. This one was predicted in advance, also. First half of the day on May 31st. This is cool. It's a cross, though. It's like a, like a cross. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, that appears in my diagrams when I'm doing the analysis on the alignment on the near side and backside alignment quakes. So, like I said, this has been happening for. This has been happening for quite some time. All right. So you're saying so you're saying that 24th of June is going to be a big, Third. big event? 23rd of June will be the big event? Absolutely. First half of the day on June the 3rd. But things are going to happen between now and then as we're crossing these different marker positions. All right. I got this. <laughs> okay. So I, I think you guys want to digress it back to the mystery explained for this particular uh, in interview. And then if you would like to have me back, then I mean, we can dive all into this stuff and approach from the black star perspective, the super plum perspective, if that's what you would like to do. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, it's, go it's all go ahead, Jay. Go ahead. No, I would say, cause this is interesting because I believe in, in, in how the weather, how everything's been, the the in the sky the signs in the sky the signs in the weather the signs in the earth like like i do i do believe like a lot of this stuff because i i just have this weird feeling that that's gonna something like that's gonna happen like just total destruction where you're less like one day you're like you're chilling and the next day you're not you know it's like it's gonna be because it's gonna happen fast it's like why <clears throat> it's like ripping the band-aid off bro it's not gonna be like because this, this this stuff could happen. This stuff is that, like there are there are earthquakes right now. I, I'm feeling weird because the one that happened the other day was weird because it wasn't like a like an earthquake. It was like it was like a giant jolt of like something exploded, dude. Like like something is like about to explode. Like something's getting excuse me getting ready to go, dude. And that's kind of weird. Like this this guy came on right now. This is this is pretty interesting. I'm pretty like pretty scared right now. <laughs> I'm a little worried right now. No, 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 no. I'm just joking. No I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm saying like, man, this is like this is right in my alley. I get the hot and cold. Like I remember, mommy used to say, "Oh, this is like earthquake weather," and then like okay. it happens, like because it's hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. It's like you're you're you letting the earth freeze up and then relax, freeze up and then relax. It's like it relaxes. Uh, it's it's always going into a state of like now. It's going into a state of 
now this black star coming around like i heard about this coming around when the, the yeah like they said the great deluge came so this stuff is not i don't know man like what if this dude's right like you what are you gonna do what, oh, what i'm right, right. <laughs> i Most like certainly. that yeah whenever you can predict earthquakes to within hours and they yeah happen. you got yeah for year after go. year after year then then the evidence is there for people to see and believe if they want to but they, there's you know i'd leave the horses to water and drinking is optional you know you can decide to drink or not but what's what i'm describing to you is going to happen 100 percent for sure i'm sure that you know back in you know five years ago 10 years ago and i'm just everything that's around me that's happening confirms exactly what's about so to we're happen. Uh, your East Coast time. So, I mean, you saw that whole th the whole thing that you're predicting, like as far as the water coming in inland, inland. So, uh, you know, California Nevada, is gone. Uh, all that stuff you think is going to be gone. So, yeah. Um, so, but I'm actually Central Time because I relocated from Florida to the Ozarks, the safest did, place in the Northern did you, Hemisphere. Is did the you Ozark. move there because of that? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I came I'll, here first in 2011. 2011, 12, 13, I was here, then did the research and realized there's more time, went back to Florida, my home, and then relocated here in March of 2020. Let me ask Ozarks. you a question. You've been studying the Bible for a long time, man. I know this. Okay. So let's say science never told you anything about uh, us orbiting or any of that stuff. And you just went to the Bible and all you had to go off of was the Bible. Would you ever think that we're orbiting around the sun and all that stuff coming from the Bible? Or would you would you need to like take what science says and the Bible says and kind of mix it together? What, what would you say? It's difficult for me to answer that question because I'm a science based person. Yeah, it's also a Christian, and so I understand. Romans, yeah, Romans one started eighteen, though the what God made is testifying about what's written. They both, when you interpret properly, you interpret what the Earth is saying properly, and you interpret what God's Word says properly. They both say the same thing to me. But whenever you take, some people take God's word and their interpretation, it's, that's the key. And then they want to make the world conform to their interpretation. And that's how you have 20,000 different denominations of professing Christians and one truth. So for me, the science and God's word say exactly the same thing. Now, I don't have any issues with um, seeing that we orbit the sun. We orbit the sun for sure. We are on a spinning, rotating sphere for sure and we know by all the evidence around us by the time zones we know by well we have telescopes we can see mars we can see venus and we see their rotating spheres i don't think we're living on a pancake i, I was just asking you biblically if, if that if that if, if you take that from scripture biblically without it's, having science ever tell it's, you that That's it's difficult for me to do that so yeah. I, I read okay. thinking thinking and destiny by person. harold waldron percival before I ever read the bible you know the first time although I was raised in a, in a Christian family, but uh, the secret doctrine, Blavatsky, uh, yeah. you know, I read all kinds of things yeah, before in, in uh, Chi from Chinese and Prana and the life forces and, and things like that before I ever read the Bible the first time. So, but when I read God's word, then it confirmed everything else that I'd already read. So I'm not a good person to ask if I had done this or done. I'm just not a good person for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good no problem I like hey i was guy. just i was just curious cool all this right so i like this guy you're a good guy yeah. um you, all stand, right. you stand on what you believe i like that dude it's yes not, sir i like 100%. that i like that that's, Perfect. A, that's a good man right there that's a hey, can't be shook i like that it's good <laughs> well once you know the truth it's like knowing the way to the store yeah, there's, only, there's only one way. Yeah, you, you always go back. You go, People go come back. by and they want to tell me the the other ways of the store. I'm not interested. I already know. I know the short way. And so that, that's the truth. And I go <laughs> back and forth on the same path and happy with that. Once you see the truth, then all everything else fades away. Interesting. All right. You can keep going if you like through your any presentation you'd like to go through. Okay. So, uh, we're about I was, uh, I was, an hour in. We probably have another like 15, 20 minutes. Okay. There you go. Let him go. So this is my first show gonna, back, Josh. Let's do it. Let's do it. Not I was <laughs> trying to pull up my other diagrams from the Mystery Explained. There's 80 of them. Okay. And it was covering up the whole page, and I couldn't figure out. Because, I, like I said, I haven't used Zoom in a long time. So these are the commonly used diagrams for the Mystery Explained. A lot of people, they can learn easier through using visuals. 
than, than by reading. So and generally I'm responding to questions. So do you have a, a question that helps me to see where you're standing? Because we're all members of one another. We're all standing in heaven right <laughs> now. And when you yeah. ask me a question, I can see where you're standing and what you're trying to <laughs> see and go, hey, yeah, over there, I can see this and this and this and this. You'd have to unravel a lot for me to get on the point with the black star and the orbiting and all that stuff. For for me, I I, I believe uh, I take the Bible literal. I, I don't I, I, I basically filter science through the Bible. So I'd be on a whole different level and a whole different uh, plane than 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 uh, in the and also in the beginning when it says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, which is Shemaim and the earth for me. Earth means land. So I believe that God created the heavens, which is where the moon, sun, and the stars would be located, and also where God's throne is located. And then our earth would just be land. That's when he laid the foundations of the earth for me. So it would be different for you. I think for you, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth like a, a, a different earth than the one that we live on now. Mm -hmm. uh, do, do Is that what you believe? Oh, way different. So and first of all, heaven is singular. And well, it's Shemaim is uh, Emaim is is actually plural. So you think he just created the heaven only there, right there, instead of heavens? Okay, let, let's look at it from a little different, a little different, a little different angle. Whenever you look at Genesis one one, and you do comparative analysis to John one one, John one one through three, is the tabernacle laid out version of Genesis one one. It says the same thing. In the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word, word is, is with God. The word was oh, God. The, okay. Well, the, do you see the word with with heaven right here? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. You see the circle beyond the veil of time and space. Yep. And the word was God because God and His word are one. But you see okay. this this heaven, this word right here, is an incarnation, because God said, "Hey, word, go over there and make Adam inside yourself again," because God made Adam in God's infinite realm, the only realm that's real. He made Adam through his word. Well, when the satanic rebellion happened, Adam was killed. And so God's going to restore Adam. And so he says, word, go over here and make Adam inside yourself again. So this is actually an egg, infinite shell. The white of the egg is God's word. And the yolk is because all things are held together in Christ, right? In God's word. So in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things, the earth, was made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. So it also the, looks like when the, when the cells break up too. Like when a cell breaks up, that looks like that's okay. So pretty cool. That, then let's go to Ecclesiastes 1, start at 9. And it speaks of the ages that existed before us. We're doing things already done twice. And in the infinite realm and in heaven and now on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. So the ages that existed before us has to be Genesis 1-1. So there were ages, multiple than one. So this earth is all of creation as one thing, one thing. And so there were, there were hosts on this earth that were the same image as Adam of Genesis 2-7. They weren't angels, they weren't men, they were immortal souls. That's all that existed until the destruction was upon the, you know, there was the, um, the earth was made void, Genesis 1 2. So then you see the reconstitution of Genesis of the earth in the, that becomes the heavens, heaven okay, and so. the earth. Okay, so according to what God's word says, this is exactly what happened, Genesis 1 6 through 8. So the well, earth is all the matter of the entire universe and then boom, made void. And now God's reconstituting it for the restoration of all things. Heaven is the same pattern. So the you word. take the earth right there when it says the earth. Are you taking that as 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 the earth? Like like you don't take it as land, like like the Hebrew would be. Well, eretz is just like our word earth. It can mean the entire universe, or it can mean a handful of dirt. Yeah. But you no, know, for the for the Greek, it the cosmos the same thing. But the cosmos can be the entire universe, or it can be a handful of dirt. Or it can be it could a be the of, so a race could, of people. It and could so, be the land was was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the abuso, which is like where the fallen angels would be located, right? So, 
The, the way that I read it is in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth because it's Shemaim. And I think it's, for me, it's the land. So that's what I believe. And it says the earth, which would be the land was without form and void because the continents have not been formed yet. And it says uh, the darkness was upon the face of the deep, which is the Abuso, like is, which is like bottomless pit where the fallen angels are located. And it says, and the spirit of God was hovering upon the face of the waters, right? So that's the Holy Spirit upon the face of the waters. And then... Uh, you know, it's talked about let there be light. So that'd be day one, right? And then and then it talks about the firmament in day two, right? So I think it gets really interesting. Um, and it says, let the waters be separated from the waters. So for me, my personal uh, way that I, I interpret this is if it, it flows, it flows nice. And also in, in Exodus, it talks about everything was formed in six days. And this talking about this is day one. But I think that you have like kind of like the gap theory type, you're separating this earth from the other earth so that's the way that i interpret it but go ahead you can you can continue with with your presentation that's that's how i think of it i think that god laid okay. the foundations of the earth which is yeah. when job said that the angels were were, were cheering so I, I believe the foundations of the earth were, were laid in in day one and in the beginning right here is just talking about our earth revelation 21 1 says that the first earth had passed away, right? So I think that there was only one earth. I didn't believe that there was two earths and then a third earth would be created at the end of Revelation. I think there was only one earth and then there's another earth created at the end of Revelation. And he has to take out the heaven and the earth, which for me is connected by what? Absolutely. A firmament and, and for, a firmament in Genesis 1-6. Right. So there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. Yeah. Why would that Absolutely. have to be a new heaven and a new earth if, if heaven is outside of the galaxies? It would only oh. be... They're because connected in my, the in my point of view. That heaven is God's word. That heaven is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There's going to be a new one that contains yeah. this universe. So there's we're we're moving right now through this evil age, Galatians mm -hmm. 1:4. The evil age started with the darkness that fell in Genesis 1:2. But the earth there is the entire universe. So the way I characterize that is that lesson, that teaching, is the Eretz shift. So Eretz in the first verse is the entire universe. Then as you're going down, then you, it's more local until you get to the land of the garden in Genesis two. So the beginning is notice God's doing all the work in Genesis one. God rests in Genesis two, one through three. Then the Lord God, who is the lamb of God begins his consecration work on the seventh day. He through him is created the local heaven and earth. That's right here associated with this planet. And then Adam and everything that goes in that for the restoration of all things on the where, seventh. On the where seventh do you believe day. the heaven is located? Actual where God's throne is located and, and everything. Where do you think that's located right now? I've got diagram. Exactly what's going on. This is what's the happening highest, on the earth. The highest heaven. Yes. Okay. So, so there's a heaven, which is Genesis 1-8. That's local to this universe. The and, there's, and there's the highest heaven. The highest heaven is heaven of Genesis 1-1. Okay. So this is God sitting inside, which heaven and highest heaven cannot contain God. Right? Yeah. But that's because his second veil is wrapped around his throne. I explained that in my book, The Mystery Explained. So Christ is at the right hand of God. Okay. In the highest heaven. The Lamb of God. I don't have that diagram up for you. Sorry. Right here, you'd see... Okay the Lamb of God, and David down on the earth for the ages to come on earth as it is in heaven. And the Lamb of God is doing on earth, which is the entire universe, as Christ is doing is in heaven. So by the time you start the mystery explained, then you're going to see the little three diagrams, the Genesis 1-1. And then by the time you get to the end, it's really complicated. And then you can see. So it's outside of the whole entire universe, God's thrones. That's what you believe? So Josh, Josh is just trying to get to see if it's flat. Anything he, no, he's like, it's not flat. I'm just, I know, Josh. I'm just, to get, I'm just trying to find out where where his mindset is because I know, I know. His, it's not, his mindset is is basically the high, the heaven is outside of the his mindset. The that there's a, okay. We are in a globe, Josh. It's okay, man. <laughs> so he's like, he's trying to. I already see where he's already trying to go. You go I'm trying to find out. Earth. I like. Come to on, man. It's he, you already know. <laughs> you know exactly. You're right. trying to I, convince him. Well, I'm not convincing anybody of anything. I'm asking him where he's at so that I that because he asked me where I was at. And that's that's yeah. where I'm at. I'm at I'm at this. You see where the highest heaven is located? The highest heaven is there, right? And then I believe there's a firmament, which is in Genesis 1 6, which is the second heaven. 
the first heaven is where the moon, sun, and the stars are located. That's that's basically that's biblical, right? So that's what I believe. So I'm I'm like this, but our universe is all inside of the firmament, right? So that's what I believe. So that's that's so it's you, a, it's totally different than where Terrell's at, but I just like I need to find out where <laughs> I he, love you, Josh. This diagram that he's putting up, I'm trying to find out what he means by it because it could be that that's the earth down there, the highest heaven is there, and then that whatever that line is could be the firmament. So I'm not sure what he's talking about here i just now i know okay. that that's outside of the entire universe so now i understand the diagram i can't understand the diagram if i just look at it you know what i mean i gotta understand it <laughs> yeah and you need 80 of them and then you start at the beginning and work your way to the end yeah yeah and, and as you're doing that you're actually reading paul's epistles three times and you're yeah. underlying every personal pronoun every yeah, name that's in different, hard. In, in yeah. different colors yeah because the third time you read it you're going to realize you're not underlying some of them yeah, and then that is you're able to see the blind spots that you have, and you're able yeah. to grow and things study like that. And study and study, yeah, right. Perfect. And you're making your own little red booklet. <laughs> you have God's word on one side, mystery explained on the other side, spirit and water, and then your your little red folder in the middle is growing. And you have three witness pages and different. If you follow the regimen, the the teaching, it's all been laid out for everybody, and you start. You read the Pauline epistles three times and you read the mystery explained and the new inner man. So I can't teach you the mystery. You have a new man, a new inner man inside of you that let the Holy I, Spirit I, teach you. Yeah. That I can show you the diagrams and then the new inner man in you is going to teach you, but you have to put in the work in order to do that. So it's perfectly normal for you to be, you're standing on the threshold and looking through this door. And you can't quite tell what's going on inside yet. And some of you looking through a keyhole and trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. You, have to, you actually open the door. And then I'm not kidding you. It's like turning on the lights and realizing you've been here a hundred times or a thousand times. And you just haven't had the lights on yet. That's the experience you have when you see the spirit, the blood and the water. And you realize they're all testifying about each other. Really, really great stuff. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Oh, good, Jay. I think you're muted. If you're going to talk, <laughs> I don't want you to get cut off. Oh no, because I was. If I understand, there's a it's a timeline, right? There's a timeline from Genesis one to the New Earth, right? So I'm looking at it as like the the highest heaven. These are outside of time and space, right? And these these are just you're going through the four thousand year old, and it's it, it is it is confusing. But I'm looking at it, I'm like I'm getting it. But it's like when Josh, I like, I like when Josh goes off. He's like, I want to know where you're standing at. Where were you standing? He's like. Well, the earth is flat. Well, <laughs> we have we just have two different perceptions. It's all it's all good. Like when it talks that's about that's all good. That's yeah, all it's all good. And it, it is because yeah, it is. And I'm I'm just trying to. I love you, man. I, I, I just love, love you, Josh. Too. You're my yeah. brother, bro. Is this? I, I know. I know you. I know you like the like. There's an old Spanish saying. I can't remember what it says, but I know you like the back of. I know you like the front of my hand. It's all right. It's just, yeah. When, like when you when you go, these conversations are awesome. It's just always it makes me laugh, bro. I don't know you see me smiling over here and and. And I, getting, I just have uh, to be yeah, giggly, I, but I love it, bro. It makes me, it makes me, it's, it's a good conversation because I hear it all the time. I hear the same, <laughs> uh, I the same arguments. It's like, man, this guy's got some good stuff. I like the way he's coming with this. I like this black star stuff. This is, this is, this could be, the, and, and he's standing on, he's right. So, and I'm hearing this other stuff from other, other places. So who knows? Maybe, maybe on, is it June twenty third? June third. Well, June third. June third. Yes. Oh man, that's when my my kids are gonna be born. This this is gonna be good, dude. <laughs> Don't stress, bro. Well, that's what the science says. Well, thanks. Well, the science man. says it. <laughs> I'll well, be now, vacation on June third. <laughs> yeah. No, no. And, uh, right. uh, I hope I hope this doesn't happen, dude, because I got a kid coming soon. We'll, we'll watch March the third and fourth, fifth, sixth, because. If that turns out to be true, that we're at least going to have a big quake event like we've had. We could have a geological pole shift. If this is geological pole shift time, then 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days leading up to something big, big is going major, to happen. Yeah. yeah. 90 days in, which is going to be around, it's going to be the first week of March, then it's going to be big stuff. Big giant stuff is going to be happening. Because what should we expect like now? Like what should we see, expect in the next couple, maybe month, like in a month? Like okay. uh, so, the likely scenario is that all these illegals they packed in here, they all have phone cards and bank cards and all this stuff that's going to stop working. 
and there's military, our military has been weaponized against us. They are, are gathering up these, these military age men, tens of thousands of Chinese military age men, same haircut, like they came out of boot camp. They're here and they're somewhere. They're on our military bases. They're being trained. And so terror cells being trained to attack our water, our infrastructure, societal support. And then there's just millions and millions of illegals that are just out there. Their cards are going to stop working. It's going to create chaos. So there's chaos coming from the illegals that are just running around everywhere. And then there's chaos coming from the terror cells. And then there's the military contingent that is going to deploy with our military for martial law. But the they're working, all of them are working against us. But the, a lot of people believe the illegals are here to replace us. They're not. Now, I'll tell you guys something. I was in the army. Um, so what I, what I would tell you guys to understand, there's... Uh, we have army reserves. We have uh, we have national guard, and then we have um, people that are sent obviously overseas, right? Which would be normal army. This is just from the army standpoint. I can't tell you Marines, Navy, or Air Force. So, what you guys need to understand is at being in the national guard and being in the army reserves, which would be the two that would probably be deployed here in the United States. We are civilians nine, you know, ninety percent of the time, and then we are weekends we go to national guard and then three weeks out of the year we go national guard and we are deployed for a year sometimes but we got to understand so when you're talking about the military is being trained to do this to do that this is what would probably happen the people that are national guard and the people that are army reserve are not going to conform to what you might be thinking where we're going to go and just be straight army the whole time and we're going to go against the civilians. The people in the National Guard, most of them I've talked to because I've studied this type of stuff too, are not going to do that. But if they do take all of our National Guard and move them overseas and then bring other soldiers from uh, Europe or maybe from other countries into the United States, if they did that type of shift, they would probably go against the American people. But at this point, I promise you, dude, the people that are National Guard and, and Army Reserve, unless they are so brainwashed, like so bad that they would go against the civilians, I don't believe that would happen. But if they did bring soldiers from other countries here that don't have that type of connection, then maybe that would happen. But, dude, I don't believe that the, the soldiers that are here that are National Guard or Army Reserve, if they were if they were deployed to do the stuff you're talking about, I don't believe that they would conform to doing that. But you, I don't either. But but they could do what you said. If they deployed all the National Guard soldiers over to, let's say, uh, Israel. Israel, or they moved them to a different area, and then they brought soldiers from whatever, some some other, I don't know what they would bring in, in NATO who would come here and do that, but they, pro they would have no connection to the civilians. But That's right. But they, the thing is that they're already here. Tens of thousands of okay, so you believe are that the already ones, here. The, the people that are, are basically uh, illegal aliens or whatever are the ones that are sitting there at the border that are coming in. You believe it. So you believe the government is working with them, bringing them into here, training yes. them and making them soldiers for that. And they're going to take the, the existing soldiers that are here and probably move them over to uh, World War Three. basically. Is that what you're saying? They do not have to. Man, call there you. you go. They don't have to call <laughs> you up. They can leave you out amongst the population. They won't need you. They already mm -hmm. have the Chinese and the Russians. It's actually BRICS nations. You guys covering BRICS? Yes, yep. I am. Yeah, I okay. understand what you're talking it's, about. It's yeah. BRICS India, nations. Yeah, I know. What you're but saying. the thing to realize is that's a military alliance. That the economic side is what they show you. It's the military part. They're not showing you so much. So the Project Sandman is going to be executed. The death of the dollar. It's being by a thousand cuts at the moment. But when they yep. execute Project Sandman, all these nations are they're ditching all of their reserve dollars and they're buying gold from America and getting it into bricks for the new world reserve currency. So every Navy aircraft carrier is going to be destroyed in a single day. So the, the document is the NASA Warfare 2025 handbook. Yep. And look it up. That's, yep. that's exactly what it says. It's in every description box of all my videos. If you go to Brighteon or Rumble, just go down and you can click on it and read the PDF, read page yeah. 93, the activation of the biological weapon. It says it right on the same page. They're going to activate the biological weapon. Everybody's carrying it around right now. Yeah. And then they're going to destroy every Navy aircraft carrier. So Hunga Tonga, you remember that big volcanic eruption? That was not a volcanic eruption. There was no magma. There was no crater. There's nothing. It was a gigantic explosion that reverberated around the world four times. It was a record setting deal because it was the testing of the carrier killer missiles.
there's going to be one of those over every air, American aircraft carrier. And you notice they're being positioned right now in, in arm's way. That's part of yeah, the plan I, on the I same page. That, I do believe it, the plan. The Go ahead. I'm sorry. On the same page, it says CNN shock and awe. They're going to show Americans being tortured on CNN, which it, that's just a, you know, a characterization of the news, mainstream media, as all this is happening. So then the chaos happens here in the United States. All of this stuff happens. The dollar collapses. And then they, the, all the illegals, tens of millions of them, their phone cards don't work. Chaos is everywhere. They deploy the terror cells that are made up of these illegals that are being trained right now. And then the military contingent, telling you, tens of thousands of Chinese, Russians, Afghans, you name it, Iranians, our enemy is here being trained by our military. They don't have to call you up. They don't have to redeploy you. But the th here's the thing to realize. After saying all that, that's all a smokescreen. The Chinese are being sent here to be killed. These are undesirable elements from all these BRIC nations. Remember, they're deploying their undesirable assets like the Americans are about to do. But then they're going to run to the underground cities. The Black Star comes and tears everything up. They emerge into their New World Order. The New World Order begins afterwards. So wow, this is the plan. This is no, the new world order starts after the black star leaves the inner solar system. <laughs> okay. okay. So I, I was just saying, like, I, I believe that the new world order is already formed where you can kind of tell, like, you know, the way yeah, the, the world right economic now. forum, everything's yeah. already here, bro. Yeah, the I mean, IMF. Yeah. I, I think you're talking about like them coming out in public with the new world order then, but I'm talking about it's, I think it's obviously already been, it's already been here, man. You know, the, this treaty that's going around to be for signature right now, Congress doesn't have to ratify it. Only corrupt Biden has to sign it, and then a whole new world order uh, for surveillance and everything. The, the laws in New York right now are so that they can pick you up if they think you're sick, yeah. and that's spreading mm -hmm. everywhere. That's the yeah. um, that's how things are transitioning very rapidly right now. Sorry to scare you guys. It's not scaring me at all. You know why? Because I have God, man, and and we, ha we got to have faith, and we got to walk by faith. So this stuff doesn't scare me whatsoever. Because you know, if and, and if you die. What do we do? We go to heaven, you know, so nobody should be scared. If you're listening to this, anybody, please take it oh, from, no. from <clears throat> God. God has our back. And if you have no food to eat, God will provide, you know, it's just, that's just the way it works. Now, all this stuff that's happening in the background is what it's Satan's agendas and everything happening. Hey, we could kind of see a lot of the stuff unfolding, you know, and, and some of this stuff is, um, you know, predictions. I think that we got to know as Terrell, obviously he's, you know, he's been in the Bible for so long. And Jason, you've been in the Bible. Like I've been in the Bible. So as we know, God wins in the end. And that's what we do know. And if there's anybody that's going to come here, like China, uh, Brinks, all these different people, we have so many guns in America. And we have a lot of people that train without being military trained. We have a lot of people that are military trained that are ready to go. So if you guys want to go heads up with uh, Brinks and all this stuff, we we have at least we have people that have weapons here ready to go. So I think that this will not happen, Terrell, until they come and take all of the weapons from the from the citizens. Because if they don't take the weapons from the citizens, and we have Brinks come in, Chinese, whatever they have that you're speaking of, and if this is all true, then they better be prepared for a battle in America. We we have so many guns here and people ready to go. They better be prepared for a a real battle because I think what will happen, Terrell, is they will not implement any of this until they do take the weapons from the citizens, which could happen. Not saying it is going to happen, but that could happen. And then I believe they can implement the Mark of the Beast. And I do believe that they would have different soldiers here when they do implement that because I don't think that a lot of the, the American soldiers would, uh, not saying they wouldn't, but most of them probably wouldn't comply with cutting heads off if you don't take the mark, you know. So I think it's interesting. Okay, just remember, their goal is not to take over the United States. Their goal is to, to neutralize unwanted assets. So the Chinese that are being sent are being sent here to be killed. They don't want to take your guns. They want you to kill the Chinese with them and the Russians. And they want them to kill you and you to kill them. That's how they're going to neutralize their threat. But at, the reason this is happening is for the distraction. Because you're not going to see the rich and the, the corrupt running to the underground cities as this is happening. Mm, then they, they activate the biological weapon that everybody's carrying around. They don't know it. Everybody's been infected and transfected by this highly sophisticated biological weapon. So they activate that. So you have hemorrhagic fever exploding everywhere. Chaos is what they need. So they're going to run to the underground cities under the, under the darkness. So on my apologies, I wasn't speaking to you directly about being afraid or scared. It's for the weak 
that are among us. There's strong among us and there's weak among us. Yeah. Not my, but my intention is to inform you so that you can identify threats, yeah. create your contingencies and execute those plans on time. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Well, we're coming up on, you know, we got another like, you know, five minutes. If you, any last words for our audience before we go, any, any type of warning you want to tell them, uh, you know, tell them how, what do they, what do they need to do biblically, spiritually to prepare? You know, I don't physically have a we plan can do though. That. Still have a plan. Well, Okay, outside well, of the do do? outside of your spiritual plan, I think you should have a plan, dude. Yeah, real plan. Know. Like, where are you gonna go? Who are you gonna talk to? Who who can you trust? Who you gotta have at least a little side plan. And, and I've been talking. To him, I just talked to my brother about that the other day. I know he could take. I know he could be a witness to that because I did tell you that. I say, hey, yeah. man, you guys are yeah. having a plan, bro. Like, where do you want to meet? Where do you want to go? Where where do you want? Because this is real. This just starts starts happening really. Man, you gotta start heading towards the central part of America. Like that's gonna be the only like safe zone is gonna be the Midwest. The Ozarks, Ozark it's Mountains. Big, that's where I'm talking to you from right now. This is the safest place in the Northern Hemisphere. So that's what I do is help people to make these plans. So when you join the Survivor Group program, you get the safe zone map, and you get if you can give me your first name, you, you have to give me permission. Your one name, first name, email address, and your home state. I'll introduce you to hundreds of people. Yeah. And then you can have somebody that won't think you're crazy, somebody that's preparing. There's a land acquisition committee. If you want to join that, it's free once you subscribe. It's $50 a year. So at the very least, get your threat assessment information so you understand the threat. That's what you get when you subscribe. Then you can decide what you want to do. So I'm preparing physically and spiritually. Yeah. The that's best good. of my God-given ability. Some people, right, right on, man, right on. Some people can only prepare spiritually. They don't have the resources. So if you're that person, then I recommend the mystery explain. See God's wisdom hidden in plain sight. Help other people to see it. Get all the heavenly rewards you can get. Because we're going to stand before that throne, that judgment seat, and be given rewards for good deeds done in the flesh. You're helping other people see God's wisdom. That's the highest honor. And then you earn the badges on your chest plate, your ephod. You're going to have access to other things. If you can do both, like I'm doing, then the survivor group program is really for those we leave behind. Because Paul says, we're going to be taken. We're going to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. And then the destruction comes suddenly in the next chapter, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 5, right? So the survivor group program is to help you be counted among the living. So you're on your nano silver sodium borate regimen, neutralized biological weapon threats. Then you are, that gives you a bigger chance of being counted among the living. Because I want that Elijah badge on my chest plate what i'm working for mm -hmm. then you can help people to survive physically and spiritually like i'm doing to earn the best reward or you can just go physically if you think you're going into the day of the lord with elijah or you can go just go spiritually so there's different paths for different people but uh right here i'm just kind of scrolling through these these uh articles that are here at substack tarot.substack.com so if you subscribed here it's celeste hey eight. celeste was on our show before Eight, <laughs> eight, uh, I was almost in an interview with her with Eric um, over at Trad Cat Night. I missed it mm -hmm. by two weeks. My connection wasn't fast enough. Really, really good lady, female lady. Celeste, so, Celeste Salome. Yeah, we have her. We've had her on our show. She's really nice. Awesome. Yeah, she's really, really smart. She knows yeah. all about the, the FEMA protocols and things like that. Oh, yeah, she's amazing. So, this yeah. is my interview. Check this one out. This is uh, the, uh, the TV version right here. You'll know more about the biological weapon when you do that. This is the link, tarot.substack.com. So if you subscribe for only $8 a month, you get a copy of my book, The Mystery Explained, and you get a mystery report subscription for free attached with that. So you get maximum benefit, extremely inexpensive, and you're on the road to seeing God's wisdom hidden in plain sight. So there's the scripture, three witness stuff, biological weapon stuff, Todd Callender. I don't know if you've ever interviewed him. The brilliant, yet. brilliant people, 9-11 inside job. You want to know what really happened? Yeah. Then uh, whenever you get your nano silver, you get a cop, free copy of my book, The 9-11 Truth, Exposing the Cheney Runsfeld Black Operation. That's flight. That's the hole for flight 93 that never happened. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't know if you guys have ever covered oh, that before. Bro, we covered yeah, that. definitely covered. That was our first like show that. we ever did. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So yeah. um, we can do a 9-11 interview if you guys like. I can talk about that for days. Then uh, this is, you want to check next. this? We'll do that okay. next uh, Next show we do. We'll do a 9-11 one. Then we'll, it'll be a I'll make sure you that. have a copy of my book, The Mystery Explained. Go to chapter 11. is a 100-point timeline. Did, uh, did all the research on that. Confidential, confidential. You're going to want to check this out. My research group was attacked by AI, and uh, we don't need to get all into that, but um, just a treasure trove of information here, and you can subscribe for free, you know, if you want to, support yeah. me if you have the resources, I hope you will, 
and then you're going to get access. You're going to get a free um, mystery report subscription and a copy of my book and off you go. Thank you so much, Terrell. That's, that's yeah, all yeah. amazing stuff. Um, yeah. Great information. This, this show will be coming out next week, Terrell. So you could put it on, uh, I'll send you the, uh, the, uh, the file. You could put it on whatever you want. Uh, you know, whenever you want to, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll put it out next week though. Okay. But, um, here's the email address where you guys can contact me, Terrell at Terrell03.com. Awesome. Thank you the so man. much. You're the man, bro. Thank you. Like thank you. Guy. Thank you. Jason, thank you. I love this uh, guy. Yeah, this is great stuff. I mean, if you guys, if you guys could please check out his website, kind of, you know, check out his book, um, you know, um, and also, like you said, you know, have a physical plan, spiritual plan. That's always amazing. You know, we got to do that. Um, but as we always do, we end this in prayer. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, um, you know, Terrell is uh, exposing a lot of different stuff uh, as far as, you know, governmental, spiritual, physical uh, you know, if you could, like, like I always ask, you know, if you could please protect this gentleman, uh, you know, protect his, uh, his home, you know, put a legion of angels around him as he's exposing some of this information. Uh, we're brothers in Christ. So, you know, everything that we talked about today, we appreciate you, you bringing Terrell on the show. Um, you know, we, you know, physically, spiritually, we, you know, we want to have a plan. We want you to please guide us, Lord, you know, let your Holy Spirit guide us to where we want to be. Um, you know, we're going to try to walk by faith. If we don't have food, if we don't have water, then we're going to, we're going to have faith that, that you provide that for us. Um, if you could, anybody that's listening right now that, that maybe is, uh, on the, you know, in fear or anything like that, Lord, we want to make sure that you, you know, you make them courageous, uh, give them strength, make them strong. Uh, if there is any, uh, terrorist threats, cells, anything like that in America, all the stuff that he was talking about, you know, uh, help us to be prepared. All the evil uh, Rothschilds and all these, you know, New World Order, all these figures, Lord, if you could, you know, we rebuke them in the name of Jesus. We want you to just, uh, you know, help us, assist us to expose them on our show, help Terrell expose these people, um, you know, and, and help us to be able to do that, uh, you know, truly with truth um, and make sure that we are, we are not veering off the course. Uh, help us to keep our eye on you, Lord. That's what we need to do always. Uh, that way we don't fall into the water like Peter. You know, if we keep your eye on Jesus, then, you, you know, we're going to we're going to make sure that we uh, don't fall in the water. So, Lord, please help us to do that. We appreciate everything you do for us, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus name. Amen. Um, all right. Amen. Thank you so much, Terrell. That was an amazing show. Everybody that's listening, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube. Uh, please subscribe to Terrell's YouTube as well. Uh, Terrell, can you shout out your YouTube real quick so they could they can look at that? If you come to terrell03.com right here, you see down here at the bottom, there's my, my right on rumble bit shoot. And then when you click on this link right here, then you, this is, it's under Terrell Croft. There we go. And and these are my. All these videos. Yeah. I checked yeah, out one of his yeah. videos. Yeah, he's got some awesome information. Subscribe to his channel, subscribe to our channel. And if you could please share the podcast, please give us a five-star review on Apple and a five-star review on Spotify. Thank you guys so much and God bless you.